Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. Major ethnic groups in Djibouti and their peculiarity. Djibouti with a population of about 921,804 people is a multi-ethnic country. Of the many ethnicities in the country, the two largest and most predominant are the Somali and the Afar. Somali ethnic group. The Somali are part of the Cushitic people native to Greater Somalia. They speak the Somali language, which is part of the Cushitic branch of the Afroasiatic family. Although only a very small fraction of the land is suitable for it, about one fourth of the Somalis in Djibouti are nomadic shepherds, grazing sheep, goats, and cattle. This is a rather difficult life for these nomads, given the scorching heat scarcity of water and a shortage of grazing lands. The nomads live in branch-framed portable huts covered with woven mats. Their houses are easily dismantled and moved from place to place as they search for grazing lands. The basic unit of the Somali society is the family. The mother is responsible for raising the children, although the father is also involved especially in their religious training. Respect for one's elders and building integrity are core values in their society, and such are emphasized. The Somalis are essentially Sunni Muslims, and their faith is a crucial aspect of their daily lives. Religious experts known as Wadads are often consulted for blessings, charms, or advice on worldly matters. In the cities, some Islamic groups inspired by the Egyptian Muslim Brotherhood have begun to emerge with a more orthodox form of Islam. Among Somali clans, marriage is often to another ethnic Somali from a different clan. This is practiced in order to strengthen alliances with other clans. Each man is allowed to marry up to four wives. Within the traditional Somali society, there used to be some form of social stratification comprising high-ranking clans, low-ranking clans, caste groups, and slaves. Nobles make up the upper class and were known as bilis. They are composed of individuals of ethnic Somali ancestral origin. Nobles take pride in their belief that they are of Arabian ancestry and trace their ancestry to Muhammad's lineage of Quraysh and those of his companions. The lower class known as Sab are composed of farmers and pastoralists. The third Somali caste was made up of artisanal groups. These castes usually practiced endogamy, that is, they don't marry outside their caste. It was also a hereditary caste. The lowest caste was the slave caste, which comprised of people with Bantu ancestry. Hassan Gulet Abtudan, the first president of Djibouti, is a Somali. Afar ethnic group The second largest ethnic group in Djibouti is the Afar comprising of 35% of the population. They mostly live in the northern region of Djibouti. This region where the leaf is often referred to as the Afar Triangle. It is arguably the hottest and driest spot on earth. Their primary language is Saho Afar, and linguists generally identify four distinct dialects, which are Afar, Northern Central, Aousa, and Badu. The Afar are one of the people about whom only little information is available. Their inaccessibility makes it difficult to obtain reliable information. There are no written records of the Afar from previous eras, and they remain largely an oral people. They are referred to by some older sources as the Danakil, from the Arabic name of the Danakil depression or desert. The Amharic name for them is Adal, which was the name of an ancient Muslim empire. But they prefer to call themselves Afar, which means in their language, the best or first. The Afar were very active in the Arab slave trade, serving as guides to Arab slave traders. A major slave route to Arabia ran across the Afar country, and slave trading activities were still reported in as recently as 1928. 
they are a nomadic people moving from highland to lowland with the seasons and rise and fall of the flood waters of the rivers they usually pull up their houses with them and reassemble them when they temporarily settle in an area women are responsible for running the home and settlement and also set up the houses they milk the goats and make butter or ghee a special type of butter when it comes to marriage preference it is usually between first cousins alpha women usually go bare-breasted which is unusual for people who profess to be muslim they also practice a type of female circumcision known as infibulation this is the sewing together of the female vulva similarly boys too get circumcised when they come of age a large number of Afro people mine salt from the Danakil depression and trade these with the Yemenis or with Ethiopians for gain. They rear mostly goats and a few sheep which they need for the required Muslim celebration feasts. Camels are used to carry loads but they do not ride them. Afros generally keep to themselves and are usually suspicious of strangers. They are quite aggressive and warfare has been the primary context for most of the culture. Islam is widely practiced among the Afar given its early influence in their history. They also have other beliefs which are not necessarily Islamic. For instance, they believe that certain trees have sacred powers. They also observe various religious rites such as anointing their bodies with a type of butter. They believe spirits of the dead are powerful and Rabena, which is a feast of the dead, is celebrated yearly. Harun Daoud is a notable musician of Afar origins and was one of the first to bridge several styles of modern Afar music. The remaining percentage of Djibouti's population is made up of people of Ethiopian, Arab, Yemeni, French and other ethnicities. Which have we missed out of these ethnic groups? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.